I hate it when people say something like on Reddit and it gets upvotes and I disagree with it so fucking much. Someone said, I don't, I don't care about what people, you know, all this time I say, I don't care, I don't care. And I used to have a therapist saying, you saying you don't care means you care. Think, looking back on it, I do think he was right, but not always. Like, there were things that I just literally didn't care about, but some things I guess I was lying to myself. You know, I got I got charge of this. Hold on. I think I was, uh, gotta get comfortable trying to fucking charge this, and I can't pull it closer to me. Sucks. Compelled to make so many videos all at once. I don't know why. Trying to get what else? What the fuck was I talking about? I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about now. Great. Oh boy. Now all, all I, I okay. I remember now. All, all this time of me saying, I don't care what people think about me. Uh, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say I care one hundred percent, but I but I wouldn't say I don't care one hundred percent. Like when someone makes fun of my interest, I, I I think it's I think it's like this. It's like if someone makes fun of my interests, I'll always hate that. And I think my friend would agree. I don't even know because we seem to flip flop. Me and my friend seem to flip flop between. We seem to flip flop between. Oh, we don't care what other people think, and then we go from that to oh, we care about what people think. You know, I could ask him right now, but he's sleeping, so. Cause I don't, cause I, I'm curious to know what he where he stands on this because, uh, yeah, there is times where I try to ignore the hate. Like there is times where I, I try I try to ignore the hate, of what people think about my interests or just me as a whole or whatever, and it's like. I try to ignore it, and I do a good job, but then, I do a good job, but then I slip back. I slip back into the whole, oh, someone's making a post about something that I like, and they're making fun of it, and I have to get triggered, or uh, you know, offended, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, you know, man. I guess, it, to the question of, do I care about what people think about me? I think it depends on the day. I think there's days where I think it. I really. I, again, I don't know what my friend. I don't know what he is like. Honestly, it doesn't matter because I'm not my friend. You know, it's okay to have differences. You know, even though we're even though we're really similar. Um, I think with me, it it just depends on the day. You know, there's days where I don't care if people make fun of me. Then there's days where I do care and I get really fucking sensitive. Um, but yeah, why, but yeah, someone on Reddit was like, I was bullied all my life, and you know what, I didn't care, I didn't get triggered, I didn't have rage fits, I didn't get offended, and I'm just like, cool, dude, really cool, but guess what, that's what I had to go through all my life, of caring about what other people thought about me, and getting triggered and offended and getting mad like av avoidly mad not just internally mad but like eh, slamming on the desk or screaming mad goes back to the whole it goes back to the whole illogical behavior impulsivity you know um but yeah i think i'm always gonna care what people think about me to an extent I think I've done a better job at it as I've gotten older. I'm 25 as I'm recording this. I think I've gotten a better... Like, if someone makes fun of my interests... I don't know, like, if I see a fucking cringe compilation, I try... I, 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 I actually do my best to ignore it. There's even been times where I watched it and I was just like... Oh boy, here's someone making fun of my interests. Back in the day, I would go... Now, like, nowadays, me being... I mean, I could... St I still sometimes do that, but... I, I watched a cringe compilation about a video game. People... 
Oh no, it was like uh, making fun of the fandom for being weird and obsessive. Or whatever. Because a lot of fandoms are weird and obsessive. But is that wrong? No. Yes, some of the jokes can be cheesy. Some of the fan stories can be cheesy and lame. But so what? You know? Oh, we're gonna ship this character with that character, so... It's cringy. To you. Don't care. Just... So, why, I don't even know what the point of this video... I don't know what the title of this video is gonna be. I don't know what the point of it was gonna be. Why do I... Do I care about what people think about me? Kind of. A little bit still. Yeah. A little, just a little, I guess. I don't even know. But why do I? I don't know. Nature. Nature, I don't know. A little bit of nature, I don't know. But yeah, I guess I could say I still care about what people think about me. Somewhat. I guess that could be the title. Um, but yeah, um, I still care what people think about me. Again, if someone's going to make fun of... Like, there's people all the time making fun of a fandom for being weird or making fun of a music genre or a band or the fan base of that band or whatever or... there's a certain type of art style that people like to make fun of um... that's too psychedelic or that's too edgy and dark you know, it's like, yeah, I'll get offended, but I, I, you know. So I still care what people think about me. To an extent. But I'm doing better. You know, I just gotta talk to the people that do like that thing. Or whatever, whatever it may be. Or do believe in that thing, you know, that's what matters. Not the outsiders. The outsiders, you know, don't they don't pay attention to what they have to say. There's always going to be haters. There's always going to be critics. There is a difference, but there's always going to be both. There's always going to be judges and people that try to put you in a box or people that think you're cringy or whatever. And So, I care about what people think about me still. Just somewhat. So yeah, just, I'm never going to change, like, I have weird interests, <laughs> I'm cr like, in my opinion, I'm not cringy. There was a guy that was saying, okay, so I don't want to say what it, what it was, but there was this interest, the dude said, this interest is not normal, it's weird, but being weird is okay, and... For some reason, even though I always agreed with that logic, on a, on a certain day, I did not agree with that logic for some reason, and I tried, I tried normalizing the interest, and I said, it's not weird, dude, it's normal. Or like, what do you mean by normal? Do you mean normal as not common? Then yeah. If you mean normal as not common, then yeah. If you mean normal as in like... If you mean not normal as in it's wrong or disgusting, then I would have to disagree. Because cause again, there was a guy that was like, Oh, this interest is not normal. It's weird, but being weird is okay. And I was like... If you mean not normal as in not common, then yeah. If you mean not normal as in wrong or disgusting, then no. Okay, I'm going to say it. It was a fetish, but whatever. Well, let's get that out. I'm not going to say what it was, but, you know, let's get that out of the way. The dude replied saying... The dude literally replied, and this is what pissed me off even more. He's like... Oh... I agree. It's not common. And it's not wrong. 
that's not the part that pissed me off. The, the, the part that pissed me off was when he said afterwards, but it is disgusting though. See, with me, this interest that I'm not going to say, it ain't, dis it's not disgusting. At least when I, you know, I'm not going to say what it is, but when I do it, it's not disgusting. M maybe when other people do it, it's disgusting, but because I haven't, you know, don't want to get into too much detail. You know, it's embarrassing and, you know, because of YouTube. Uh, but when I do it, you know, it doesn't bother me. As far as other people doing it, uh, I have not had a real life encounter of engaging with someone that does this uno this this thingy. Uh, I have not had a partner that has done this thingy with me. But uh, when I do it, it's fine. And when I watch when I watch it online, it's it it's. It's not a problem. I know this is all vague, I'm sorry, but, you know. But, yeah, but he was just trying to say that it's disgusting. I don't think it's disgusting. I, when I do it, it's not, but, I don't know, it's just... It's, I don't even know what this video was supposed to be about. But that pissed me off. I guess I am weird. I'm not cringy though. Like, I don't make myself cringe. I'm weird. But yeah, that's the whole point of the video is... I still care about what people think about me. And aspects of me. But not totally. And... In that situation, I cared. I'm like... But I have to accept it. I have to accept that I am weird, I guess. Maybe I am cringy. Not to me, like... I guess I'm cringy in the sense of... Like... I don't make myself cringe. But... I guess I'm cringy in the sense of... Other people cringe at me. Yeah, I could... I, I, I agree. I agree with that. I guess my interests and beliefs are weird, I guess. I mean... If you look at it at a, at a standpoint, if you look at it at a standpoint of how you grew up, on what is normal and what is not normal, I guess from that standpoint, yeah, I guess what I'm into and what I believe in is weird. But there's another part of me that says, well, it's not hurting anybody. You know, it's it's not super. I don't even know. I think weirdness is a perceptional thing. Or, Cringiness is all perceptional bullshit, you know, same thing, you know, just... I don't even know what this video is supposed to be about. But yeah, it's just... I think in order to stop caring about what people think about me, don't watch... If you see a cringe thing, just try to ignore it, or like... Be like, oh, whatever, like, say what you will, think what you will. And then go to the groups that do agree with you. Go to the groups that don't think that it's cringy. You know, and just talk to them. And you'll, you know, you'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah.